The Weevil Yugi Chuber Show. Starring your host, Weevil. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, that was just a weird introduction. <laughs> this is my first official video, so uh, I like to greet the YouTube slash Yugi Tube universe with open arms and say, hey, what's the crack? What's up? As we say in Ireland. So, um,. Yeah, um, I'm just going to do a bunch of card reviews over the next while, pretty much, uh, from the new set, Galactic Overlord, which I think has such huge potential and can just be, you know, broken to pieces by so many different decks. Um, Zectors get huge support. Warriors, as I'm showing here, get general decent support because of the Light Ray archetype that's coming out. And, uh, of course, you know, like, Heratics, Card Card D, Herpy Derpy Derpy Derpy, crazy stuff. So, yeah, today we're going to be looking at this guy. Um, I'm pretty much going to break him down in terms of his advantages and his disadvantages as a card and also how he applies to certain decks. I'm also treating him as a representative of cards that people may overlook in the set, so keep an eye out for more reviews of that kind. So first we're going to look at his effect. Jisuke Knight, level 4, Light Warrior. When an opponent's monster declares an attack while you have no cards in your hand and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from the graveyard, then end the battle phase. Each player can only use the effect of Jisuke Knight once per duel. Okay, well, right off the bat, he's level 4, Light Warrior. Good start. Attack is decent, 1700. I wouldn't exactly call him a beater. Bare if anything, it barely qualifies. 100 defense, it's pretty irrelevant considering what you're going to be doing with him. So let's break him down. Okay, so pros. His defaults. Light, Warrior, level 4. You can't get much better than that. And if they all make him one thing, it's a splashable card. He works in so many decks, in so many different ways. And that's not even considering his effect, which can prevent OTKs, such as from Heratics and a bunch of other decks. But of course the problem is, can you get him to the grave in time? What sort of decks can actually do that? Well, you're talking about Chaos Dragons, first of all. Um, in the Chaos Engine, you're milling a lot. The Lightsworn Engine does that for you. The Lylas, the Rikos, the Gareth, the Jane, whatever else. So it is quite possible to get him to the grave very pretty early in the game. Second of all is Elemental Heroes. Um, you can run this guy in Heroes, but you're going to have to summon him first, and he's going to have to die. So, um, you might be able to use Miracle Fusion on him somewhere down the line in the game, with Aeneas Alias. Um, but is he really that useful, just for that? Would you run him just for the sake of one Miracle Fusion, and getting that extra light in the grave? I don't think so. Um, thirdly is the Light Ray Archetype. Um, the most notable of which in the Archetype being uh, Light Ray Gearfried, who specifically uh, mentions warriors. Um, I don't know again whether you'd run him just for that particular reason. Whether you need a lightsworn engine to mill the lights into the grave so you could summon the gear freeze, and whether you'd use Tsuke Knight in the first place if you were in that crappy situation. Okay, so let's look at some cons. First, the other side of the coin. How practical is his effect? How often are you going to be able to summon him from the graveyard to save your ass? How often will you choose to do it? How often will you even choose to run him in the deck in the first place? Is he worth it? For a 1700 level 4 warrior, 1700 being mediocre, warrior being pretty good, light being pretty good, but are there better alternatives? Is Gore a better, better alternative? Is Battle Fader a better alternative in this format? Given the amount of annoying decks out there like Insectors who just hate Battle Faders. Is this guy going to save you? My second complaint has a similar argument to it. That damned last sentence of the card. The fact that you can only use it once per duel. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it doesn't matter whether you use multiples of them or not. You'll still only be able to use one. So, is that what really crushes this card? Is that what makes it completely unplayable? Or am I completely overreacting? So in conclusion, what can we say? He's alright. If anything, being at one, people might actually tag him. But that's not anything good to say about him. That just means that he's, incidentally, a good tech card. So that's about it for the video, guys. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to add in the next videos, or any card you'd like me to review, just let me know. Uh, if I talk too much, uh, let me know about that too. Um, and uh, any other general tips or anything you have to make this a better viewing experience for all of you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.